In this tutorial we will show you, how to set up a complete login system, for your site. This includes logging users in, and out, protecting pages, and data sources, and also filtering data, using the logged user's ID. We will start with the login process first. We created a simple login form, containing a text field, a password field, and a checkbox, as well as a submit button. Open the server connect panel, and create a new server action. We put it inside a folder, as it is easier to maintain the server actions, when they are organized like that. We call the action file, login. Now, click globals. And in the link page field, browse to your login page. Then, select it and click OK. In the form field, select your form, and click the import button below. The form fields have been imported, under global post variables. Now, right click steps, and add a database connection. Set up your database connection, or select one, from the drop-down, if you've already defined it. Then, right-click the database connection step, and add security provider. Select database, from the type drop-down. Then, select your database connection, from the connection menu, and click the provider options button. Here. Select your database table, storing the users, and select the ID, login, and password columns. Click OK when you are done. Then, do not forget to click the link to file button. This way, you will make the security provider available site-wide. Now, right-click the security provider step and add security login. Set up the login properties. Link your form fields for login, password, and remember, available under the global post variables. Expand post, and select the corresponding form field. Do the same for the rest of the fields. Then, select your security provider, from the menu. And we are done setting up the login server action. Click the Save button, in order to save it. And open the App Connect panel. Add App Connect, to your login page. In order to be able, to redirect users after login, we need the App Connect Browser component added on the page. Click Add New Component, and add App Connect Browser. Then, select the Login Form, in App Connect Tree. And, in the Handler menu, Select Server Connect. Then, select the Login Server Action, in the Action menu. And we are done, setting up the login process. Let's set up the redirect, on successful login, and also an alert message, when the user enters wrong login details. Open the Dynamic Events menu. Select Server Connect, and then, on success, click the dynamic events picker. Under the browser component, select go to and enter the URL where the user should be redirected after successful login. If this is a static URL, it should be wrapped in single quotes. Click select when you are done. Now, let's add an alert on error event. Add new dynamic event, then under server connect, select on error. Click the dynamic event picker. And under browser, select alert. Enter the alert text, wrapped in single quotes. And click select. We are done, with the login part. Now, we are going to set up the page, and query restrictions, as well as filtering the data, using the log user ID. Open the server connect panel. And create a server action. We call it, User Details. Right-click Steps, and add a database connection. Load your database connection. And then, add Security Provider. Then, load the Security Provider, 
which we created in the login server action. Right click it, and create a database query. This is the query, which we are going to use, to display the data, filtered by the log user ID. Click the query options button. Select, and add the table, which you want to use in this query. We'd like to show the log user details, so we add the users table to the query. Then, add the table columns, which you need, and open the filters tab. Select and add the column, which you want to filter your query by. In our case, this is the user ID column. Then, click the dynamic data picker, in order to select the filter value. Under security provider step, select identity. This is the identity, of the logged in user. Click select. And click the OK button, when you are done. In order to protect the query, from being loaded by someone, who is not logged, you just need to add a security restrict step, before the query itself. Right click the step before the query, and add security restrict. Select your security provider, from the drop down. And save your server action. Now, your query is secured, in the action file. Let's set up the page security now, and then we will bind the data on it. Open the page, where you redirect your users, after login note, that everything that we are going to apply now, should be done on every page, which you'd like to restrict access to, on your site. Open the App Connect panel. First, let's add security restrictions to the page. We will restrict access to the page, so only users who are logged in, can access it. Open the site menu. Open, DMX Zone Security Provider. And select, Manage Page Security Enforcer. Check the Restrict Access checkbox, and select your security provider from the drop-down. Then, select a redirect URL, for the users who are not logged in. We want to redirect them to the login page. We do the same for the users, who are unauthorized, to access this page. Note, we will explain more, about the access levels, in the next video tutorials. Click OK, when you are done. Now, as our security restrictions are set up, we can bind some data on the page. Add app connect to your page. And add new component. Under data, Select Server Connect. And then, select the server action, with your filtered query. Click Select. Now, let's just bind the data on the page. Click on your page, and then click the Insert Binding button. Under the Server Connect component, Data, Query, select the dynamic binding, which you want to insert, and click the Select button. Do the same, for all of the data which you'd like to show, from the filtered query. Now, as we are done with restricting the page, and binding data on it, the only thing left is to set up the logout action. Open the server connect panel, and create a new server action. Let's call it, logout. Right click steps, and add a database connection. Load your database connection, from the menu. Then, Add a security provider step. And load your security provider. Then, right click the security provider step, and add security log out. And we are done. Save your server action, and open the app connect panel. Click the add new component button, and select, server connect. Select your logout server action here. We call the server connect component, logout. Do not forget, to check the, no auto load checkbox. This is important, as otherwise this logout action will run, on page load. We only want it to run, when we click the logout button, so, check the no auto load option. Now, 
Just select your Log Out button, or link, and add new dynamic event. Open the mouse menu, and select Click. Then, click the dynamic event picker. And under the Log Out Server action, select Load. Now, the Log Out action will run only when we click the Log Out button. Let's set up the redirect after logging out. Add new component. Under Browser, select Browser. Then, select your Log Out action and add new dynamic event. Under Server Connect, select either Done or Success. We select Done and click the Dynamic Action Picker. Under Browser, select Go To and enter the URL where user should be redirected to after logging out. For static link, wrap it inside single quotes. Click Select and we are done. Everything is set up and our login system is fully functional. Let's preview the results. Trying to enter wrong login details, an alert appears. As soon as we enter the proper login data, we're redirected to the details page, where we can see our details. After we click the log out button, we are redirected back to the login page. That's how easy it is to set up a complete login system using DMX Zone Security Provider.